PACER stands for Progressive Aerobic Cardiovascular Endurance Run. The PACER is one of the test options for estimating aerobic capacity in the fitness gram. The PACER is a valid and fun option for estimating aerobic capacity. The objective of PACER is for the student to run as long as possible back and forth across a 20 meter distance and at a specified pace that gets faster each minute. There is a 15 meter version of the PACER which may be used when elementary school facilities are too small to accommodate the 20 meter version. The PACER requires a flat, non-slippery surface that will accommodate a 20 meter distance and space for the student lanes. This surface may be inside or outside. The examiner also needs a CD player with adequate volume, measuring tape, marker cones, masking tape or chalk, and copies of the score recording sheets. In preparation for the pacer, the examiner needs to mark off the 20 meter distance, including both a start and an end line. The pacer course should have enough student lanes to accommodate the number of students the examiner can accurately track. The lanes may be marked with cones, tape, or chalk to help students run in a straight path. Before the day of the test, students should be provided with opportunities to practice the pacer so they know what to expect. These practice opportunities, which may occur during physical education classes, should include the use of the pacer CD. The warm-up is not as essential for the pacer as it is for the other test of aerobic capacity because the progressive nature of the test provides a built-in warm-up. Remember, the goals of the warm-up are to prepare the body for the activity, improve performance, and reduce injuries. Prior to the beginning of the pacer, the examiner ensures that each student has a partner. The role of the partners is to help keep track of the number of form breaks. The students line up at the start line, and the partners stand behind the opposite lines. The examiner stands on the sideline with a clipboard and a score recording sheet. The examiner monitors and records the number of laps each student completes. In the pacer, one lap is the 20 or 15 meter distance from one end of the course to the other. The recorded score is the total number of laps completed by the student before the second form break. A form break occurs when the student does not touch the line by the sound of the beep. The pacer CD is set to music. The CD includes a five second countdown and tells the students when to start. Students begin the test running across the distance and touching the line with their foot before the sound of the beep. Walking is allowed so long as the desired pace is maintained. At the sound of the beep, students run back to the other end. A student who touches the line on the sound of the beep must immediately turn and run back to the other end. A single beep sounds at the end of each lap. The audio CD also provides a verbal cue to track the number of laps completed. A triple beep sounds at the end of each minute. The triple beep serves the same function as a single beep, but it also alerts the students that the pace will get faster. 28. The first time a student cannot reach the line when the beep sounds, the student should immediately turn around and run in the opposite direction upon the sound of the beep. This is considered the first form break. The examiner, with help from the partner, takes note the first time the student fails to reach the line at the sound of the beep. The student immediately turns around and continues the pacer, as he is given one more attempt to regain the pace and reach the line before the next beep. The second time a student cannot reach the line by the beep, this is the second form break, and the test is complete. The two misses, or form breaks, do not need to be consecutive. The recorded score is the total number of laps completed by the student. The first form break is counted as a complete lap. The second form break, however, is not counted as a completed lap. If the 15 meter pacer is administered, the number of laps completed, or score, needs to be converted to a 20 meter value using the pacer conversion chart. If the lap score is within or exceeds the range of the healthy fitness zone for the student's gender and age, the student meets the performance standard and should continue doing regular physical activity. If the score falls below the range of the healthy fitness zone, this indicates the student would benefit from physical activities designed to improve aerobic capacity. This video was developed to help ensure the PACER is administered in a manner consistent with the Fitness Gram Test Administration Manual and California Physical Fitness Test Regulations and Guidance. For more information about the Physical Fitness Test, we encourage you to visit the California Department of Education PFT webpage.